so he won't be able to make infinite clerics. And Josh may respond on his own turn by playing a Kiki Jiki. Should be pretty good here. Oh, it looks like Josh does not have triple red for the Kiki Jiki. Um, he does have a swearing twin in hand, though. So, getting confirmation there's only one current hand. There's a Splinter Twin. And Brandon's going to scoop him up. So, uh, that's, that's an interesting game. You know, Josh was able to... Basically, in the Twin Mirror, uh, that's a big thing, where in response to the Splinter Twin, you can deceive Rack Zork or Pester Mine and tap down whatever creature is being Splinter Twined. Uh, the, the same thing just happened, except for Josh was able to put more pressure on Brandon by having the living ends and getting these gigantic creatures into play. And he knew, because the living end resolved earlier, that Brandon did not have any sort of counter spell unless he drew it, but you know he drew the Splinter Twin because he didn't play it earlier. Yeah, 20 guns real. It's very interesting. Just a match between two decks. Generally it doesn't work, but it's worked in this case. Your Splinter Twin and Pester Mind to see where it's all costs 3 and 4. So... You can't cascade into them, so you'll still be guaranteed to hit your living end. And you even have Kiki Jiki. So if you mill over or somehow your combo is disrupted and your Kiki Jiki and Exarch die, you're, if you get a living end off, you auto kill them. If, living, if a living end resolves, you're probably bringing a lot of creatures back that will kill them anyways. But it, the the option is there to just combo them out looks like they're shuffling up for game number two where Brandon will be on the play so later tonight for you guys that stuck around through our technical difficulties uh, we will be giving away an overgrown tomb a return Ravnica overgrown tomb to somebody who is not only following following the twitch channel and has liked us on Facebook but also still has to be here I'm not sure when we'll give that away but Eventually, we'll probably do some cracker packs too. We got some, we got some scars of mirrored and some nemesis. So while they're shuffling up, I'm going to go ahead, and just give it to you. It's gotta be random. So, while we're waiting around for these guys to shuffle up and start game number two, we are going to be bringing SCG Game Night. Uh, I the, token, the token right now is a 2-2 two -two pig. I believe it's supposed to be the boar for Curse of the Swine. The swine. But you get a bunch of... The, you get the foil, the shiny pig tokens. Uh, we'll be doing that Wednesdays at 7. We'll, we'll have some modern, modern all the time. We do have a draft and some standard. Uh, you show up. I believe you participate. Do I mean be? No, just like the Facebook page. So if you go to facebook.com slash hometown hobbies, you'll be able to find a page. Hit the like, you'll get our latest news when we go live on Twitch for our FNMs. 
we will also be streaming the on July 18th we'll have the Star City Games IQ slash IQ uh, PVTQ um, that will be streamed that will be Saturday July 18th that will be the weekend that Magic Origins come out so we'll see some we'll see what Origins does to Modern so it looks like they're both looking at their opening sevens they both kept seven brand starts with the steam vents tapped I believe I saw saw a few lands from Josh let's say Meyer pass brand going to untap draw play another steam vents tapped you might just have turn three X or turn four combo so Josh's going to take two go down to 18 Gonna fetch go down to seventeen. Probably to fifteen. It's a very color intensive deck. Yep, going down to fifteen, getting the overgrown tomb. Yeah, I got one pile driver being reprinted. I they reprinted the Elvish uh, ringleader, uh, the goblin ringleader, but for elves, which is, I hope they don't reprint goblin ringleader because it'll be a thing in standard, and modern will be covered in pile drivers and goblins. I've already seen enough goblin guides from Baron. So it looks like Baron doesn't have anything like Deceiver X or Grand. They basically play the third Steam Vents tapped. Looks like there's an Architect's Will being cycled. Me, Josh is gonna fetch some more. Going at least down to fourteen, probably twelve. Nope, he's going to get a basic mountain. Life total becoming an issue. He's gonna fetch those basics out. It does. It looks like Blood Moon was not sighted in from Brandon, based on his draw of. Triple steam vents. Granted that they could have just been he drew three steam vents. And so his if he draws blood moon he just won't be able to play it. There's another wood of foothills. I see a secret foundry. S Simeon spear guide, I believe. Some cyclers. There's a misty rainforest from Brandon. And a pass. I do believe there's a cryptic command in his hand. I see a negate, a cryptic, a scalding tarn, or two. A scalding tarn, sulfur falls. I believe there's two other magical cards. There's a fetch. Josh is going down to at least 13. Getting a stomping ground tab. Now he has double red, which is relevant for Splinter Twin. Looks like he drew a something. He's gonna shock himself down to eleven. This tag is very painful. I mean, you're trying to cast, you know, triple red spells, double red spells, along with your normal cycling abilities. Brandon has still not taken a point of damage. It looks like that's his first point of damage this game. Which generally doesn't happen like that in modern. A lot of your lands deal you a lot of damage. There's a fetch down to 19. Getting a basic island. I believe he is out of steam vents. Uh, three, three steam vents is generally a lot for these twin decks. With... Excuse me. Would not expect the fourth. Is he going to play a scalding turn for turn? I believe he drew a second cryptic command. And Cascade is going to resolve. Mill over a bunch of cards. There's a living end. That's going to be countered by something. Negate, looks like. Maybe cryptic. Looks like negate. That is a ricochet trap. Yeah, he's going to. That's. That's a. 
That's a blowout. So I'm gonna go and read off Ricochet Trap. And it's just basically a redirect. Um and yeah, Brandon didn't have anything else. So the Ricochet Trap res resolved the negate. The negate was countered by itself. Have I seen Demonic Pact? Yes, I have. It's an interesting card. Uh, I believe somebody's going to have to do a gather search of removing enchantments from play in some way, shape, or form. Break the card in modern or standard or whatever. Because the card's pretty good unless you lose the game. The losing the game is not advised. Zigbrand took a lot of damage off of this. Let's see the exact number. I believe that's a seven. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna fetch and get out of six. Brandon has a lot of blue cards, and blue cards tend to be pretty good. He does a Serum Visions. See a Karanos and an Electrolyze? It's, it's looking rough for Brandon. He's going to be able to Cryptic Command tap Josh's team a couple times. Josh is going to continue to cycle through his deck. It's it's looking rough for Brandon. He's gonna he does have two turns off of these cryptic commands, but Yep, looks like he's gonna tap the team and I assume draw a card. Yep. That is true. If Ricochet Trap was on his radar, he could have played Cryptic Command, countering the spell and bouncing a land. Or just any permanent. It was a land at the time. Um, because Ricochet Trap um, explicitly says that it can only change the target of a spell with a single target. Changes the target of a target spell with target. Looks like here's a cryptic command. Let's see what exactly this does. He's going to tap his team, obviously, and draw a card, bounce snap caster. He's going to draw a card. He does have a cryptic command hand. I would predict that next turn he plays cryptic command, taps Josh's team, and bounces his snapcaster mage so that he can get another cryptic command in. Looks like he has a Vendillion click and electrolyze. The cryptic slaughter games. So he's probably going to name cryptic. See what he chooses. I'm gonna leave some blue mana up. It doesn't really represent that much though, since he can't play anything like a negate. I'm not sure what he named. I'm surprised he didn't name Cryptic Command. Oh, he named Splinter Twin. So now Brandon can't combo through the game. 
but he